Hello and welcome to Chrome Computing. In this video, we'll be looking at Chromebook notifications. Chromebook notifications can be good, but they can also be irritated, especially when you first turn on your Chromebook in the morning. Normally they come down here, you click on there and you'll see all the different notifications up here. Um, they're easier to clear now because there's a clear button there. However, you get notifications from some providers that you want and from some apps that you want, but then you get other notifications, you know, from apps that you hardly ever use. So let's have a look at how you manage your notifications in Google. If you go down here, and then click on the settings, which is like the cog there. That will bring up your settings and then go to apps. And then here you've got manage your apps. Click on there and you'll get a list of all of the apps that you've got installed on your Chromebook. You'd need to click on each one and there you'd have notifications. That one's turned off because I've just turned it off. And you, some of them, calculator, for example, won't have notifications. So not all apps will have notifications. Calendar, there we have notifications there. So you would have to go through each one of these to turn it off. As you can see, I've already turned some off. Now, if you've got quite a few apps, you can imagine how time consuming that would be. So there's another way you can do it as well. So if you close down that there and click down here, and now there's a new notification icon here. And if you click on here, it will give you a list of your apps and the ones that give you a notification. I've got a blue tick next to them and the ones that don't, as you can see it unticked. And this is a much quicker way to get rid of notifications. Now, in relation to, you can also see here, these notifications from websites, which you can also tick off as well. Now, in relation to notifications, should you be turning them off? That's, you know, it depends. I, I would say certain apps, you should not necessarily take off the notifications. Like I would never take off notifications or anything to do with, files, for example, um, maybe your social media, you want to keep on your notifications. If you use your social media and you want to know when you get new messages, file manager, I wouldn't personally turn off that. But then if that's an app, which it is, yeah, you might want to turn off that. But then if you're using that file manager, you might want to keep on notifications because they've got an update as such. Um, now, in relation to taking these off, it is simply just a case of ticking them off. As you can see, I've got Facebook there. I'll leave that one on. I've got Google. I'll leave that on there. Ad, Ad Manager Google, that's fine. Word, I'll leave that on. See, it does depend. Games, for example, I'm not really interested if they come back to me. Spotify, I'll leave on. Card games, all these card games. Smart file, Roblox, I can take them off. So as you can see, as I've been doing that, we've been getting notifications up here. Now that's from Facebook, which is great. Click down there. You can see a number of notifications too there. Click on there. If you get lots of notifications, in the past you had to go and close off each one by pressing the X. Now you'll get a clear all there, which will clear them for you. Um, now if we go back to here, yep, so you can simply tick them on or off. Another thing you can do, you, you obviously can leave the ones on that you need, but there's also a do not disturb, which is great. And that's here. And you just simply click on that and you won't get any apps come through. No notifications, sorry. Um, the only thing you obviously need to be aware of when doing that is to make sure you turn it back on. Because although notifications are really frustrating, they can also be useful. And the last thing you want, certainly if it's an app you use a lot, is to be using an app that's out of date, for example, like worst case scenario, they could have found a security flaw. So be careful when using the term, taking off notifications. But it's good to know that you can do that and using and taking the notifications off here is much quicker 
than doing it through here but you have to go into everyone and click that off and then go back and then so it's much quicker to use them down there so i hope the video was useful if it was please like the video because that's the only way other people will get to see it on youtube and also subscribe to the channel if you're interested in any future videos that are coming up thanks for watching